<laughs> Welcome back to Knights of the Last Call. I'm your Dungeon Master, Derek Melinda, joined as always by Bob Bumgarter. Uh, Asius. Asius Stoneforge, also known as Strongforge. We got, we got Rory Gore <laughs> and Matt Holloway. As Bur Burl Veppington. Right, Burl Veppington. <laughs> and on the phone from uh, some random army base somewhere in the United States of America. From parts unknown. Uh, we have Villick. Random is correct. There we go. <laughs> random is correct. We got Danny on the line back after the last uh, few weeks of, of being on maneuvers or whatever the hell it of is. Of having real responsibility. That he does in the army. <laughs> no one's quite sure. All right. Um, so... Uh, as you may have noticed from our last several uh, episodes, we like to drink here. Uh, this is a nice opportunity for us. So we, we've started a new tradition here on nights. Um, it's going to be the beer of the week, uh, beer of the session. So uh, this week, we Bob brought in a six-pack of, what would you bring in, Bob? Sibling Revelry Brewery. Uh, Sib Sibling Revelry Brewery, based yes. out of uh, Westlake. Yep. This is a third wheel Belgian style triple ale. This is actually one of my favorite beers that they make. and It it's, is actually really good. It's very smooth. Uh I'm guessing uh, from the Belgian style triple ale. I didn't think I would like it, but it's a 9.2, so it's a, it's quite the beer, but it is quite smooth. It's like Christmas uh, Christmas ale level. That's all that was there at the store. Oh, that's when very I, smooth. Okay, let me talk about how much I hate Christmas. Ale. When I got oh. there, like, that was like instant. Do you want Christmas stuff? I'm like, can, is there like not Christmas stuff? Yeah, yet? Like, the last couple else? weeks at grocery yeah. shopping, I seen that. Oh it's my got goodness, it's just showing up. It's a smooth beer. It's a very smooth beer. It will not fuck you up that. if you drink a six pack. <laughs> Especially if you don't think so because you're thinking, oh, it's a smooth beer, but oh shit, almost right. 10%, almost it, a goddamn wine. It, it, it does have kind of a Bud Light-esque taste to it. Whatever they're I doing, it's fantastic. You don't, yeah. I, I don't like Bud Light. I, uh, it's, it's, it, it mm. Bud Light is, it has the Applebee's effect. If I'm going to go to Applebee's and I expect to have some, some bar food, some wings and some beer, it's gonna be great. If I go to Applebee's and thinking, oh, I'm gonna order the steak and the steak's gonna be fucking great, you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get fucking let down because it's not a great steak and it's I shitty just food. Going like, did you say happy hour? What's the ones that are cheap today? What's the cheapest <laughs> one? So uh, with with Bud Light, if if I know that I'm just having a, a, a you know run of your mill run of the mill right. bill beer, we're gonna we're watching the World Series and, and smashing some Bud Light. Whatever, it's fine. If I think, oh, this Bud Light, I bet this is gonna be a delicious beer. You're gonna be disappointed. <laughs> You'll be let down. You know? Yeah, then yeah. that's that's my opinion on Bud Light. Like, I think that's it's not great, but if you know what you're getting, I think that's an accurate statement because the only time I've really enjoyed Bud Light is uh, Wing Night at Frank Antonio's. There you go. Where you get in a, the wonton. Where you get a wonton <laughs> soup container of oh yeah. Bud Light for two dollars. Yeah, and you're like, I'm there paying. Be, I'm paying. A, I'm paying a dollar for ten wings. I'm paying two dollars for I don't even know what the fuck a quart of so, beer. Some yeah. local <laughs> ordinance is being <laughs> some it's, violated. Yeah, they're we, out. we all. I, the only time I drink cheap beer now is when we do those blind drafts. For oh yeah, baseball because yeah, yeah, yeah. like you'll be drinking for like certain rolling the dice off the table. You got to take a drink. Right. Plus, and, and I'm plus like I can't drink this like time. that yeah, for four in, four or five hours of nine and a half percent beer. You're gonna be, be dead. wasted yeah. real soon. Yeah. Previously on Rise of the Rune Lords, Adventure One: Burnt Offerings. The heroes, the Knights of Last Call, here. had continued their exploration of the Catacombs of Wrath. And there, deep in the catacombs, they discovered the twisted and horrible abomination of Corvorus, yep. once one of the local goblin tribe chiefsmen, now somehow corrupted and twisted by the same evil magics which had uh, awakened within the catacomb. But the three-armed monstrosity came upon the party a fury. Depleted of resources and spells, the knights bravely fought almost to the bitter end. Only the last sheer act of defiance and the expenditure of all their hero points <laughs> allowed the knights, Gore and Asius, to stand to their feet to summon the power and the courage for one last final assault. And then resonance just, just flew through everything. Um, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Was it spring? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I was just trying to set the, uh, and then a banjo. Yeah, no, it sounds, <laughs> no, it like sounds a, ominous, dong. like a dong. I'm just trying to set this here so I got a little room. The Catacombs of Wrath uh, had been fully explored except for one side passage where they believed the final Cathedral of Wrath lay. Yeah. So the knights begin to backtrack. And as they backtrack and approach the tunneled entrance, which leads back to the glassworks, they discover, bounding along, in the uh, in the hallway, as if nothing nothing's been missing, the small diminutive form of Villick. <laughs> Villick, where have you been? 
That's you, Danny. I got lost. I was out <laughs> in the woods for two weeks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when life imitates uh, art. Um, <laughs> glad to have you back. And and all two, and uh, it's good too because, quite frankly, your dungeon master here has been kind of sort of forgetting. Yeah, we've been getting our ass whooped. Yeah, so you've been getting your ass. I'm whooped. glad. I'm so, glad you're here. Uh, you almost went last week. Everyone uh, except for me almost died. died. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I oh, really? was dead. Well, they were both unconscious. I was, I was quote unquote dying. Avoid. Where I was wounded. Oh, I was wounded. One. We need you. Help and, us, help us, Philip. And we found help. you some hand wraps you can yeah. use. Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah. Help, yeah. Us, help, help us, Philip Juan Kenobi. <laughs> right? <laughs> Should we uh, fill in? Hey, hey, Philip, welcome back. Yeah. Check out these, uh, hand, these wraps. hand wraps we found. <laughs> Bob, you wanna, do you want to explain that or? Uh, how we found them, or just that he has them? Well, what the item is, so that he knows how to. <laughs> yeah. So basically, it. instead of fighting with your fists now, you can wrap your hands in these hand wraps. And I think what does it do? Does they're it like they're like gloves. You know? and, and I wrap think it's like mummies. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So you get that. that you know, a little protection. Um, I'm not. A little tape, man. Let's see if uh, if uh, uh, Rory here can find out what it uh, exactly entails. To I you think it was increasing. just a plus one magic item, so I think it just uh, plus one to hit. Do you remember, Mr. DM? Mm. Now that I'm trading Arcana, I'd like to take a second look at those gloves and see what's going on. You still need to take magic. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Well, you know, we, we, it's, it's a slope. We'll get there. <laughs> I have Arcana. That counts for something. That does count for something. <sighs> and okay. are not common items, right? They're Oh, no, no. No, no I mean, you could take your shirt. These you know. are magical. <laughs> magic power. Magic wraps. Magic wraps. Um, Probably like a special type of burrito. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Delicious. You can eat them. You sound like you're hungry. Listen. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So these are called the hand wraps of Mighty Blows. They are a level two item. Ooh. And. Uh, I think I'm level two. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, it doesn't really mean much, but it just it's kind of like an indication of uh, like relatively how powerful they are. So you're level two, they're level two. That's a good thing. So uh, we haven't talked about this yet, but uh, you have to invest in these items. That doesn't mean with your money. Uh, just each character has a limited number of magical items that you can sort of be attuned to or bound to. Mm. Um, and so these require you to do that. Um, they are basically strips of cloth, like what a boxer would wear underneath his boxing gloves. And uh, you must meditate as you slowly wrap them around your hands. And once you've done so, these hand wraps have weapon runes etched into them, allowing your unarmed attacks to benefit from the magical properties that would otherwise yeah. be limited to swords and axes and hammers. So, dope. Yeah, dope. Yeah. So, these particular hand wraps are plus one hand wraps of mighty blows. And that means that while wearing them, any of your unarmed attacks, uh, get a plus, plus one, one to hit. So, okay. so Vilic, as you kind of put these hand wraps on and invest into them by meditating on them, basically for all intents and purposes, almost every one of your attacks is unarmed. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a mighty blow or a uh, wolf fang or yeah, whatever, wolf jaw, uh, wolf jaw uh, will be a, a plus one more to hit. You guys have regrouped near the beginning of the uh, catacombs mm -hmm. where there was a second passageway that led deeper in. You guys kind of went north. This is kind of more going south. The tunnel uh, that is up before you here heads uh, opens up into what appears to be a small shrine. Are we still in complete darkness? Yes. I've got my torch. And I have dark vision. <laughs> and I have dark vision, but you know, I also have a torch. Could. So these other guys can see. Could. I use the sword of Corovis hmm. and maybe take the torch from you. And I... You could, and then you'd be no using shield. A one, you'd be using a one-handed sword. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you'd, you'd do a little less damage, but it is a plus one sword, and it, it oh, should so only no, take your, an, your sword was already plus one, and it should only take one action for him to drop the torch and, and two hand that sword, right? I mean, if you want to use the sword, you, you can. But yeah, sure. Do I know that it's a plus one? Does it still have that effect? Oh, you know, I don't know that. No, the the oil made it potent. Which is why it did so much more damage, but that was only temporary. Okay. Permanently, it is a plus one sword. Mm. Okay. So instead of. So instead of a plus one great sword, you are using. A plus one. Plus one long sword. Okay. And then I'll. Still take, a great sword, but as far as damage goes. No, it does right? D8. 
Yeah. Yeah. Instead but of, now you can hold your dagger and flat foot uh, an enemy. If I we could. Come across. Yeah, I absolutely could. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, 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 I'll make sure that I have my dagger in hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready to threaten him with my minus one strength. All right. Uh, the tunnel widens here into what appears to have once been a small shrine. For to the northeast, there are steps which lead up to a platform of gray stone. Sitting atop the platform is an ancient altar, little more than a jagged block of black marble with a shallow concave basin on top of it. Ooh. And that basin is appears to be filled with dirty water. Dilk, <clears throat> were you in here before or... You just in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, he was coming up from the tunnel. Yeah, he was coming. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. He got. He went down the other tunnel that yes. led down to the beach. Yes. yes and yes, then yes, he had yes. to come back uh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, find yeah. the side passageway that you guys took. Mm, understand. To understand. confirm, north, uh, north north is up. Yes. yes. You just want the marker. Yeah. Is the water? I have amnesia. Is the water dirty from blood or dirty from dirt? It's hard to tell from back here, Gore. I'd like to know what you guys want to do. <clears throat> Well, so I guess we'll the water proceed. is this area here. Yeah. So if you so the the no the little thing on top. So there's like a uh, oh, just, just this little, this little. there's stairs that go up to like a platform, and then there's like an altar which but is you can put me behind which you is just core. like a a block of marble with dirty ass water, and then in the middle of that block of marble, there's like a sink. It's like a dry sink. Uh, what's the what? I sniff deeply, <laughs> generally in the room. Oh Do it, does it smell so good first, or first, does it smell something oh my foul? Goodness. Um, no, there's a vile scent. Oh, this oh don't smell goodness. good, fellas. Um, okay. Um, I so as you get closer, there doesn't it. appear to be a source for this water. There's no tap or spring. It's just been sitting in here, and the water looks cloudy, filthy, and muddy. I, uh, I I yell out to Asius and say, Asius, I dare you to drink it. I mean, I've I've drank quite a bit Take of a my sip. time, but uh, sip it down. No, this is uh, he is takes it, a sip. No, he doesn't. <laughs> this is some type of beard brew. <laughs> when I get to when I get to here, can I? We're, um, we're up next to that thing because freaking. Uh, Burl's sniffing it. <laughs> I would, mine was more of a general aroma. Oh, okay. Room. I thought you went up and sniffed it. Yeah, so as you enter no, into I the don't, room... No, I don't go first. Um, okay. You see that this room appears to have once been a shrine to Lamashtu. Ooh. Mm. There are carvings and the goddess runes. of monsters. Yes, yeah. the mother of monsters. Oh, sorry. Mother like of she, monsters. Like the mother of dragons, but mm -hmm. of monsters. Uh, there is. This is definitely like a religious shrine. Uh, yeah. In, uh, no, no, she's hideous and horrible no, and, ugly, like, and perpetually Ew. pregnant and um, with monsters. And she like cuts, <laughs> she cuts open her uterus herself to birth her monsters. Oh, gross! So her body, Savage. her abdomen's all <laughs> scarred up. In fact, her her symbol is like of a as a cesarean scar. Mm -hmm. mm. Man, I can usually drink four of them seltzers and be okay, but I just had like half of this thing, and I'm just like, well, I guess Fucking I'm wasted. O it's it's quite plus the beer. times ten. <laughs> it's quite, it's quite I'm the feeling beer. it too. Yeah. I mean, nine point five, nine point two. That's it's, quite it's, the beer. It's double the beer or, or triple if you know. I you know, have the... but I used to do like ten vodka cranberries <laughs> a night. That's true. That's true. Oh, man. Yeah, no. I'm a big, I'm a big vodka cran. There you go. Uh, straight whiskey, man. Yeah, Scotch, straight whiskey's the way. Scotch. Straight whiskey's the way I go. Yeah, you don't have to be oh. so pretentious. Look, man. if if it tastes if it tastes like oh, peat moss, if I if it tastes like I'm eating a big spring load of, of <laughs> fucking dirt, that's the scotch I'm after. <laughs> That was awful. Oh, it's you delicious. Eat dirt? So, like, Burl, like, go. Uh, you so, should drink some of that water. So, no. <laughs> Ron, so, Ron, you've been to Lagavulin lately? So I'm definitely not drinking this water, Burl. Okay. Yeah. Um, there oh, is. Can I seek around it to take a look around this yeah. uh, thing? I'd like to. Can I do a uh, Arcana check to see if the water is? Yeah. Magical? All right. So you I take. Seek. So you take a look around. Mm -hmm. um, you're not able to really see much of anything, Asia. So it doesn't okay. seem to be anything. But Burl, go ahead and move Burl and Lucky deeper into the room. Um, as you kind of examine the cautious. waters of the mad of the altar, yeah. you are able to assess that there is definitely an arcane effect here. There's an oh. arcane effect here, fellas. Yeah, the, the water what does that here. Mean? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the water appears to be continuously generated. It's some sort of unholy water dedicated to Lamashtu. And in fact, as you kind of examine and poke at like the basin, you would guess that this Lamashtu, again, being the mother of monsters, her 
uh, shrine and this liquid probably carries with it the the potency and the birth of monstrosities. Is it like Alex Mack where I touch it and like it sticks to your yeah, finger? Yeah. And like, In fact, you wow. would probably Burl An Alex Mack reference. Yeah. Yeah. So Burl good. Burl surmises that Corvorus <laughs> either on purpose or was forced to drink this yeah, liquid. I'm not drinking, and this. that's what converted him into the <laughs> is this a three armed this? monstrosity that you I guys mean, fought before. You're pretty good with two arms, but how would you be with fifty percent more arms? <laughs> I, I say go big or go home. Guzzle it what down. What if you get a third uh, arm? Sink structure. Uh, it is a black marble block, Alter. yeah, about the size of a end table. I can't tip it over. Yeah. No, it's like, it's it's built in. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. I was getting because I want to just I want to like empty this thing. I'm, into I'm the ground. with enough levering and half. I don't want anything touching this. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, if you guys have any sort of thing that you could use to lever it, well, I mean, I, you could I've smash it with your maul. Yeah, I don't know if I want my maul touching this thing. I'm kind of eh. Let's ignore I it like then. I mean, maul. what do we care? Maul is yeah. only for blood of the, my enemies. There we go. <laughs> On the far side of the chamber, there is an elaborately carved set of double doors made of stone. They are carved in all sorts of. Uh, demonic images. Uh, there are images of of people being killed and slain, tortured. So it's like an ornate, like it's a... It's like an ornate kind of cathedral-esque yeah. um, drawing and, and etching. And that's the only other door we see. So like, that's it. What's what's in the uh, the uh, southwest corner? Uh, there seems to be like some like uh, tapestries and like stone carvings dedicated to Lamash to ah. a place for meditation and prayer on evil demonic... Mon monster goddess. If, if sure. I could give it a closer look, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, if, go for uh, it. Perception check of some sort. Yeah. Uh, a nine. You're not able to see anything that isn't obvious or, or apparent. You fall asleep. And you're not able to see if there, there's definitely no like secret doors or yeah. anything like that. All right. Well, I mean, I, I suppose we we keep on, fellas, right? I, I mean, will. Yeah. I guess we'll. Can we, uh, if I have an empty I flask? I really don't like this fucking thing here. <laughs> Uh, Azius, I have, you have an, an empty beer bottle. I don't have an empty beer bottle. I have a flask full of liquor. Well, drink it real quick. I mean, I could, eh. but how are we filling it up? What well, about one of your vials of juggernauts? <laughs> or... No, no, no. Here, I here's what we'll do. Break Look, those after I drink them. Oh. Azius, <laughs> smash that flask. Yes. Send it my way. I can use prestidigitation. Okay. Uh, to to just, <laughs> it's not a lot of what? weight, but it's just setting slightly into there to okay. fill it up. Fancy okay. display just, magic. Just case. All right. Um, DM Derek. Yeah. Um, I'm going to He's gonna smash, smash <laughs> the flask that I have. Um, so I have a flask of liquor, just or okay. mead or He's whatever. gonna drink it all at I'm once. I'm gonna drink it all at once. So I don't know if this is gonna make me <laughs> dizzy or something. No, I'm gonna drink all this. You're fine. <laughs> I'm gonna give the empty flask to Burl. Okay. And I'm gonna use uh prestidigitation. Yeah. <laughs> to to not a lot of weight, but you know, set it slightly into the pool sure. to collect some of that that okay. sweet sweet stink water. Okay. And so note that you have one dose of waters of Lamash too. Ooh. <laughs> um. So they're just burning up, and yeah. uh, now that we can see nice, I guess I'm going to walk over to the door. Yeah. Okay. Check and, it out. And uh, kick it open. I uh, yeah. I'll take a. I'll do a what is it, like a seek on the door. Sure. Take a look. Take, the door. Um, you take a look um, and. You eye the door up and down. Again, this is a massive stone door, probably about eight feet tall. Uh, each door is probably two feet wide. Ooh. So this is a big set of double doors. Well, There's two big brass iron, like brass um, rings set into like their stone Ooh. jaws of like a demon. And, you know, each one's like a ring. But as Very you take, intricate. Yeah, but as you take a look at it, Asius, you don't see any signs of uh, you're not a thief, but you don't see any signs I am, of... Uh, a kind of, I have some thievery. Okay. I, I am a uh, trained in thievery. Right. Well, you don't see any signs that, that, that this is trapped or anything. Okay. I do but have a thief as well. I do have a thief. As you, do, okay. as you yeah. take for a moment, though, you do hear a cackling, high-pitched oh. voice on the other side of the door. Hey, guys. Um, I think one of Vilk's cousins on the other side of the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is definitely not a goblin. Oh. There's some um, shit behind this door. It's hard to make out whatever it's saying, um, oh. but it's... Can I make a nature check? Mm, nature? Nature. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking training. No. <laughs> no, it's not about, like, it's not about recognizing that it's just, it's just, even, it, the stone doors are so thick. It's so muffled. Okay, yeah. Hey, guys, there's something beyond coming. this door. Just <laughs> You know, it's funny because it sounds like goblin. Does it sound like <laughs> No, no. 
Derek's uh, voice sounded like that. It did, but <laughs> I, Burl, Burl hears something different. Uh, yeah. but, uh, ah, that's too low. It's not Shuto. It's not Shuto. <laughs> All right, yeah. but I mean, like, you know, regardless hey guys, of what uh, language is. this a pull door or a push door? A pull. Interesting. All right, so guys, uh, I, it seems like we can open this door. There's no traps that I'm seeing. Um, but I'm hearing something behind this door. I don't know if you guys want to ready up. Yeah. And, uh, so could we ready some actions? For example, when he opens you, that door, blast him? You cannot. Mm. Um, because hey. you can only ready when you're in initiative. Mm. Now, if you did it somehow quietly, stealthily, you know, whatever like that, and you have some sort of advantage, you might surprise yourself on the other side. But it is a big, heavy door. And more than likely, it's going to come down to a perception check, which is, you know, think of a perception check as, like, who's quick on the draw. Now that being said, yes, yes, you meditated and wrapped them. Now it, it goes without saying that someone can sort of be like, "Okay, guys, be ready." And if you're like kind of doing that, and just, you can assume that someone's basically taking the uh, scout action, and that would give everyone a plus one bonus to initiative. So that's about the best you can do. And scout is based on what? What do you have to roll for a scout? Nothing. Nothing. No it, check. It's it's, just it's one of the doing. it's one of the exploration activities. So for example, scout when I when I say them. when I say like, "Okay, you're about to open the door." Like, what's everybody doing? What are you doing while, yeah. You know? And someone could be like, I'm scanning, and I'm ready to prepare. That's like a scout action, and that's going to give everyone plus one bonus to All right. I, I imagine most of us would scout while uh, Aces well, is ready to... It's only plus, oh, only one person needs to scout. So All right, well, I will be ready to scout. I will scout. Okay, okay, well, we need to uh, figure out this order, because I do not think that Burl will be number two. No, no, I can this no, no, Burl's not number two. That's his hand wraps. Oh, here you go, uh, Villick. That's what your hand wraps look like. Like some... Uh, Red. What's, um, <sighs> red with gold thread. Yeah, what's the, um, not Street Fighter. Um, yeah, like or Street, street Fighter. fighter Ryu, the, Ryu. Uh, not, Ryu. not Ryu, not Ryu. What's the um, Tekken, the demon kid one? He always had like red, demon like kid. flaming hand wraps. Yeah, I forget what his name is. It's from Tekken though. Jin. Jin, yeah, Jin's hand wraps. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Time. Anyway, um, Tekken. Oh, I, haven't, I haven't played that camera. Yeah, I've played, I mean, a long we, minute. We only had a few systems. We had a lot of Tekken games. Me and Rich. Oh. <laughs> um, I think uh, Gore, you're gonna be behind me. I assume. Yes. Okay. Are you scouting or you want me scouting? Uh, I'm the one opening the door. Okay. <laughs> Scout yeah, away. I'm, yeah, I'm. I'm. Um, your phone. Sorry, Danny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> until we get okay. uh, Twitch like, capabilities. Oh, <laughs> There we go. Something like that? Or do you guys want to bunch up? That's fine. I okay. mean, because uh, Villick's going to run in and, and punch okay, the so shit out of Okay, so we have one so. guy scouting, and that's enough for us to all get plus one, or just some of us just plus one? Everyone gets plus one. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm behind him. Like, let now, him do his thing. I'm just, just wondering. Wow, yeah, Am I already in wolf draw mode? Uh, actually, c can he get into... Well, that only lasts for a minute, doesn't it? What's that? Can he get into his wolf stance? Nope, you can only do that during combat. During combat, and okay. It, it's a, ah, is it a free crap. or single action? No, it's a single action. Yeah, it takes action. No big deal. Um, but I was thinking, like, he could put his torch away because his room's on fucking fire right now. But The room behind us is, yes. But when we enter, this next room was probably not lit. So yeah. he's probably going to have to hold on to his one Keep one and one. Torch. All right. Uh, yeah. I uh, quickly, uh, with a... With a, with a with the, a swift kick. Yeah, with a... No, no, I have to pull. You're pulling. With a, with a, with quick, a swift with a pull. With a quick pull. Doubled... Uh, well, I guess I have to single arm pull this <laughs> yes. open because I have one arm in my maul. Destiny. <laughs> All right. And the yeah, what, quickly we, pull we them open, though. Yeah, we need one side. Ta -da! Yeah. The doors swing wide open. And we die. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big dragon, and he kills you. Burl, you Let's pull see, open the double stone doors. Uh, uh, as as and beyond lies a huge room that looks... Exact, uh, looks nothing more than like an immense underground cathedral, an immensely decorated, elaborate, large ceilinged holy place dedicated to wrath. This goes up? These are yes. up? Okay, okay. Uh, there are two doors to your left and right eh. that look like they go off into small storage rooms. Shame but beyond that. this, the walls are carved with strange and spiky runes. Ooh. In the center of the room, there is a large pool, like a fountain. Seahorses. But without spraying water. So think of it like a like a low static. Like a low static uh, pool. Uh, pool. It's a pool, yeah. With a ring of polished human skulls oh. balanced on stone spikes arranged 
and a circle in the middle of it. Like, oh, okay. Not not around the perimeter of the pool, in the center. Okay. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, so in the pool, there are stone spikes with skulls on top of them. Art Deco. Yeah, yeah. Art Deco. <laughs> At the far end of the room, a pair of stone staircases spirals up the walls and leads to a pulpit or yeah. like a place where like someone could like preach from yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, cool. on which sits a second pool in the back. This one is triangular and filled with a churning, bubbling orange and yellow water that almost looks like translucent lava. Oh, that ain't right. And yet wisps and of what look like heat and steam rise from the strange orange liquid. But the rest of the room from this distance is deathly cold. And as, mm. uh, as you know, Asius throws open the door and- I'll take my first step in for right. sure. It kind of comes in. With the rest of the party, you hear a clatter and flap of bat wings. And near the top of the pulpit, a small, strange, winged creature lands. That's it. A little baby, a little baby, a little baby demon. Cute. It's kind of cute. This, I throw a pokeball at it. Is Irelium. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> she is a she is a quasit, which is a type of demon. Mm. She's half invisible. Don't look at all the stats, jeez Louise. There's yeah, no stats. Well, I mean, look, she has a torso in there. Oh, they just didn't draw oh my that. Goodness. They, didn't, they gave up. They didn't draw that part. Nothing in this room's <laughs> illuminating it, right? Well, the the Fountain in the back is glowing, so there's like dim illumination. So with his low light, could he see? Yeah, with low light, you can oh, see. Fucking drop that damn torch. Yeah. <laughs> double up on that sword, baby. <sighs> I'll double up As, on the double. Oh, well, yeah. no, you definitely yeah, cannot yeah, do yeah, that. Gotcha, right gotcha, now. Gotcha. The creature screams, <laughs> Infidel defilers, how dare you intrude upon the mother's holy sanctum? I will destroy you and feed your blood to the rune well. All right. Perception roll out. Perception <laughs> yeah. checks for initiative. So we all get D20, plus one. Danny. We do Everyone get a gets one. a plus one to this. Oh, yeah. Natural one, so two. <laughs> Ten. 17. Wait, you got a two? I got a, yeah, two total. That's you impossible. Plus oh, sorry. One? I got a, it's so sorry. impossible. Natural one, plus one, two, plus a nine. I got nine total. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, but, a, but a natural one. So. Yeah, nine. Okay, Vilik, what'd you get? I rolled a 17. What would you get? Perception. <laughs> Sorry. We had this last week. Danny wasn't here. I don't know. I just, Rory said roll a 20. So I rolled okay, a 20. Okay, so true. roll a yeah. 20 and add your perception. And plus and one. And then oh. plus one. And then just tell Derek that number. It makes things easier for everyone at home, too, that's listening, because we're very popular by uh, episode, what would it be, five? This would be episode six. Six. We're like, we're hitting record numbers right now. Yeah, no ten, tens of views. Tens of, yeah. <laughs> I either cheer digit or views. groan, but nobody ever knows what I rolled, so... <laughs> Burl. This is awful. <laughs> well, see, look, he got a 10. <laughs> I, I rolled a, a two. How do you, you rolled worse than me? Yeah. Oh, I have a good perception. So I, have, I had a nine total. I have a plus five perception. I have a plus seven. I'm, 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 I'm an expert in perception. I'm not very wise. I'm, I'm also only, not I'm very wise. I'm only trained in perception. You know, you give the illusion that you're wise. Right. I feel this coming right, from Well, you. I got a 31, so oh, fuck that. What? Wow. <laughs> I rolled an at 20. Um, <laughs> Ir Jeez. How do you say this? Irelium. Irelium. Ooh, that's a cool name. All right. And do we know Do we, do we know uh, what? I told you she's a quasit. Yeah, that's what all we know. A demon. Let's so it's a demon. demon. So remember, on your turn, yeah, you, one of the actions that you can do is one action. And it's called recall knowledge. And if you recall knowledge, you can try to figure out information about a creature. Now, this creature is obviously a demon. And to understand uh, yeah. information about demons or fiends, I suppose would be the correct fiends. terms. Fiends. Um, Sorry. We learned about the closets earlier, too. We, heard, uh, we had heard they were in here. We just didn't know what they were. Right. Uh, you need to use a religion check. And you can only do it if you're trained in that. Nope. So even it's still just, just add your... But it's just one action. Okay. And then for each... And if you get a crit, you get a bunch of information. If you get a success, you get like one bit of information. You could theoretically spend your whole turn just going... Recall knowledge, recall knowledge, recall knowledge. Yeah. And I'll tell you, it's armor class, it's fortitude save, it's hit reflex points. save, it's yeah. hit points. What it had for dinner. Yeah, what it had, what it had for dinner. The whole kit and Stop caboodle. recalling knowledge. Right. right. <laughs> stop. stop. Okay, so the first thing that the creature is going to do is it's going to uh, stride. It's going to fly over to next to the glowing, bubbling pool. 
uh, and to, which it seemed to have called a rune well, by the way. And to be clear, oh, there is n- nothing else going on other than him or that we her. See her, her. And her. Yeah, you guys see her because she's flying above it and she's like, by sin and wrath be born. She takes the small dagger that is in her hand. I think you saw that in her little picture. Yeah. So, uh, to your right. Yes. Oh no, she didn't have it in her hand. It was, it was part of her torso that got invisible. Yeah, it's part of her. So this is this is the full. This is the full. Oh, very nice. Her. Very nice. So oh, she's hotter than the cool. uh, Lamash la, la, la yeah. too. Yeah, she's got a little, she's got a little rack going. Um, <laughs> she cuts her palm uh, with the dagger, uh. and uh, several drops of blood fall into the glowing yellow lava-like water. Contaminated. The water bubbles and froths, and then suddenly there's sort of like a bubble, like a, like a like a pulse of water, kind of coming up like a wave. And then it kind of like cracks open and spills out. It's gonna be like minion demons. And a oh no, a sin spawn. Oh fucking sin the spawn! Sin the three arm guys. Us. Uh, no, not that was Corvorus. Okay. This, these are the guys you fought earlier that have the um the we anger with the, 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 the I, anger bite. Yeah, the guy that was standing there for all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah these still things fucked us up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it kind of like vomits it forth. Oh my um, gosh! As it vomits it forth, um, you notice that the rune well seems to kind of, was kind of glowing and bubbling, and now it seems to be very dim. So it's got a cool down. And it's very, very, like, quiet. Um, so Does he need his torch back then, if it's quieted down? Yeah, it's, it's pretty dark in here. Oh, shit. I didn't do anything. Oh, yet. yeah, you didn't. <laughs> don't drop that torch, it's getting yeah. kind of dark. <laughs> I was still going to keep it. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to be left in the dark here. Yeah, right. <laughs> All righty. And then... Does this thing have to roll initiative? Uh, it will. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to finish up her turn. Okay, sorry. Sorry, she's like a boss. She's got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Right. They got, they got a lot going on. Ugh. She does have a lot going on. Um, okay, there we and go. And then she will nat 20 to she initiative. Did, she did just well fucking just come in and kill us all. <laughs> oh, that's two actions. You and I, we, we did we did, we did did biff our uh, initiative rolls. Uh, yeah, that was pretty bad. Real bad. Um, I rolled 27, and I still came yeah. in second. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah, that's rough. That's a good sign that she is. Uh, yeah. Ready to roll. All right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she hurls her dagger at Azius. Whoa! Excuse me. Flings it. It like streaks through the air with like a red light. Uh, she has a plus ten to hit, but <coughs> she's gonna get only a plus six to hit because of the because ah. of the range, Bob. Okay, I'm at 18 foot. armor. Class. I got an eleven. Oh, ah! Okay. The dagger <laughs> sails, clumsy. and as it goes over your shoulder. It starts to evaporate and disintegrate, and then it reappears in her hand. Fucking boomerang magic. Yeah. All right. So Irelium is done, and now I'm going to roll for the Sin Spawn. This is going to be another 30 for sure. <laughs> that 20 on the side. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. On the Sin Spawn. This is why we like almost barely survive every time we fight. As a reminder, this is what a Sin Spawn looks like. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like the Vampire Zanny from Blade 2. Blade 2. <laughs> oh. The new they, they're fucking oh, yeah, like yeah, this yeah. aligns. There we like, go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They have a plus... Zero. No. Uh, what a plus, fun movie. Plus ten perception. Weird movie, but good. Right? Yeah. Okay. So Villick got a twenty something. So I feel they're like gonna a go right. one. Yeah. Okay. So Aurelium is done. Gore. Now remember also too. She's flying. Oh, how uh, how high up? Uh, what's the yeah, like what's ceiling? the height of the ceiling? In here? I said as I said, remember it's a cathedral. I'd say the ceiling is about fifty feet 50 tall. Feet? It's Shit. about twenty feet up to this pulpit. And she's probably a good 20 feet above that. Mm. So she's kind of buzzing around near the ceiling, if you will. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Gore. I'm going to put my long sword in my belt. Uh Uh-oh. And I'm going to pull out my dagger. Is that two? Uh, Putting your long sword away is one action. (laughs) Taking out your dagger is a second. Okay. And I'm going to cast shield cantrip. Okay. Uh, you can do that. All right. Uh, Gore, can you give us a little bit more? Yes. Zoom in on the action here. Dun, dun, dun. All right. That looks good. Uh, ooh. Um, okay. So Gore put uh, to sheath the sword, drew his dagger, cast shield. All right. Villick, the monk. That's you, Danny. That's you, Danny. <laughs> uh, wolf jaw. All right. Dance. You jump. It's one action to drop into the wolf jaw stance. Successful. Yep. yep. Uh, trying to see. Am I in the room yet, or am I yes, behind? Yes, technically, or you are in the room. 
Your deer's behind me. I mean, I can't even if you, can even if you double moved, I think you would still fall short of, of reaching them. Yeah, part of me wants them to come to us after that last encounter. Yeah, that's I what I was thinking. I, yeah. fucking got I mean, they do have the upper ground, Anakin, so that's a, a concern. But, like, she's flying, so <laughs> what does that even mean? But well, uh, we still the dagger. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. We can it with ranged weapons. Um, I wonder if, if, if it makes sense for us to, like, choose a side and, like, go up. I mean, because I'm going to be we standing my distance. Yeah, we could do that. We could we could try to pick one side and start, start working our way towards that side. Yeah. Uh, Danny, so what do you want to do? Uh, you have two actions left to use both uh, stance. To get into did you guys one. fought that thing last time? How far did it move? Well, we fought uh, the uh, the sin, uh, yeah, sin, sin spawner. spawner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, its movement yeah, was 30 about. feet. Yeah, pretty 30 standard, feet. yeah. It had two attacks, which was uh, rough. Yeah, it can like bite your face and make melt, you melt your mad. mind. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it sickens uh, I, you I guess with anger. If if unsure, I think that like picking one side and going that way yeah. would be a good option. I, and we can all huddle that same Yeah, way. so I, I I think you like just move a little bit, Danny. If anything, maybe I'd maybe let him come to us. Yeah, I think you just want to kind of get us. Uh, so we'll wait. <laughs> so he can't defer because he already used an action. Right. No, correct. He cannot. He can yeah. ready. He can ready an action for the rest that he has. Like if he has two two actions, to do an attack. He can, he can ready that attack. Yeah. But you know that it will only be if it gets within range of his fist. So move and ready it. No, because ready takes two. Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay. He used one action to join and enter into the wolf jaw stance. Yep. Okay. And then now he has two actions left. So he could ready and be like cocking the. Yeah. Cock on the floor, catch it with Donkey the front. Kong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that sounds like the best option. But if nobody gets next to him, it, it never comes up. In, yeah, in the next sure. turn. Yeah. And, and then it's just, just wasted. It, it, yeah. But at this You're point, doing this all day. I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so right, make up your mind. can I move up to the right? Yep. Yeah, I think 25 that's... 25 feet? Yeah, I think that's... How far is 25 feet on that board? Five squares. Five squares. squares. Yeah, or, or that All one. right, and you have one action. Then, uh, can, I, can I can I ready there? No, because it takes no. two, actions two actions to ready. So oh, you... ready is two. Oh, yeah. I got you. Um, I can mean, I just like wait here. I mean, here's, <laughs> wait, here's what you <laughs> feel like you, you could. Well, Vilic, like, if you want, you don't have to enter the wolf jaw stance. Oh yeah, not yet. Yeah, you could just you ready could now. just move over there and then ready to punch the sin spawn as it comes by you. Oh, and then you won't okay. be in the wolf jaw stance, so you'll have to just use your normal mighty blow. Mm -hmm. But. That's okay. Powerful fist. That's yeah, fine. powerful fist. We yeah. still got that plus or one. Or jaws. Wraps. Yeah, you have regular jaws. <laughs> yeah, your goblin jaws. <laughs> yeah. Just a regular jaw. I have jaws. my jaws of powerful fist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you, do that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, do I'll that. move there and then ready up. Okay. So, I didn't know okay, I great. I think with the ready, you have to say, what are you ready yeah, for? Yeah, I mean, I think we understand what he's doing. The bad ready. guy coming so out. So he's spinning his fist in the air. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's like, I'm going like this. If you get in my way, it's your own fault. So I'm drunk in boxing. He's sure enough going to do that. So he's going to go one. Two, three, yeah, four, they can, five, they can six. One, two, oh, three, boy, he's four, double five, move. Six. Oh, so as goodness. he gets here with his second action, as he enters the square, Villick, you can use your reaction to clock him in the jaw. Yeah. There you go. Or bite him in the face. So roll d20 uh, plus his powerful fist. What's your strike? So if I'm correct, so, Danny, the, your powerful fist has a plus seven to hit. And your right? Yeah. Jaw is eight. Uh, yeah, so you're going to bite him with your face. So, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, your jaws doesn't benefit from your hand wraps. Uh, but yeah. but it's plus eight to hit, so go for it. So it's plus eight. Okay. So nah, 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 nah. I rolled... And then add it to your eight. Two. Uh oh, Hold on. So ten? No, he's, he's rolling his no, dice on the... No, it made me roll two dice. I rolled an 18 and a two. But why, did it, why can't I just roll one? Again, you're using the computer... I don't, I don't know. I think it's terrible. Um, just uh, take the first. Just well, take, okay, just, take the first take one. Take the roll. We'll roll and take the first one. Well, the first one was an eighteen. The second one was a two. Okay, okay. so eighteen. So the first one was an eighteen plus eight twenty six. That should hit. Oh, we hope. I hope. Yeah, twenty six okay. hits. All right, so so Danny, um, okay. you. You bite him with your face. <laughs> <laughs> so, bite him one, with your face. Uh, one D6. I hope he gets sickened just from biting him. <laughs> right. uh, I got a one. Oh. Uh, so, so four damage. Oh my goodness. 
All right. So uh, you kind of ready. The creature gets close to you as it lunges <laughs> for you. You bite it. But actually, you guys are like two dogs because like it's trying to bite you. <laughs> so you're both are just kind of going like. <laughs> <laughs> um, you basically are just French kissing at this yeah. point. It's what you're really doing. Um, so I he's going to since my last wife. So he's going to bite you with his jaws, which is a plus 10 to hit. Ugh. Oh, boy. I rolled a seven. So I got a 17 versus your armor class. And I believe you, 20 and you have a 20 AC, so that, that misses. Wow. Okay. It would have hit me. He's All right. very nimble. Yeah, go goblin or monks are very defensive. Yes. They're very nimble. Okay. They're hard to hit. Okay. That that so hit the sin spawn yeah, moved, yeah. moved or strided, strided, and then struck yep. with his jaws, and so his turn's over. So he was trying to French kiss him, but he's like, no, not today. Right. Friends. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. He let him, and then once the tongue got in there, yeah. the uh, like bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not down for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so... so I, did, I did four damage because my strength is a three. Yes. You got Zero it. One. That's yep. correct. Got it. Yep. Check it. Just make sure. Okay. So you did that whopping damage to him. Correct. All right, so... Uh, I believe next is Burl. All yeah, right. Yeah, Burl. Burl so, Burlington himself uh, in the flesh. <laughs> Coat factory. Burlington Abrush. Big Burlington, here. Burlington Sorcery Factory. Uh, so uh, as he approaches, I notice that he is in within just 60 so we can feet. No, no, just so we can both reference it. Mm -hmm. Uh, enough for a hydraulic push. Okay. So I am going to uh, try to blast this sin spawn as Are you he moving runs into down. the room? No, I'm not moving. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and I don't think that there is any cover. As I, 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 the I doors are open. A, the yeah, doors open. are I have open. A fair line. Uh, no cover. Uh, no cover. Yeah, I have a good line to him. So yep. all I need is 60 feet. Got it. Uh, hydraulic push. Come on, baby. Okay, you're trying to hit AC 18. Come so on. So it should be a plus 18. 8. Uh, oh, a crit. Yes. So a 28 crit. 28. So what Woo. actually happens wow. on a crit? Oh, so critical success, they take 66 bludgeoning and wow. they knock back 10 Wait, feet. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Critical success. 66? So spells okay. have, so when normal. you say 66, I hear six 66. D. Well, six. nothing in nothing in Pathfinder ever does just 60. a flat amount of damage. I know. I was like, what? So uh, <laughs> spells will often have their own um, critical success. Like mm. with a weapon, you just double it, right? Yes. With uh, spells, they don't double by default. They may or may not have a critical success. Wow. So in my case, uh, they take a 66. I hope so you brought possible 66. 36. I, right. I, I did, but I've got to find more. Right. Uh, and on average, he'll do 21. Plus one because so. uh, my dangerous sorcery. So I'm going to roll these, roll two more, and then add one. Okay. So we've got... Woo! Those are big numbers. Oh, my gosh. I see lots of sixes and fives. That's huge numbers. Holy shit. <laughs> we've got... Uh, 22. 22 plus... Another 10, so oh my 32, gosh. so 33. 33. And, Holy wow. shit. And he is marked, he's knocked back 10 feet. Well, he's this knocked we back 10 every feet time we into fight. death uh, <laughs> because the creature only had yes. 30 hit points. So, all right. Where the doors, was that last fucking The doors fight, swing bro. open. <laughs> Irelium cuts her wrist or palm. Blood issues forth. The sin spawn comes lumbering down the stairs. It and Villick tangle, and then Burl strides through the doorway and Hadouken. <laughs> it's the morphin time. <laughs> it's morphin time. So that was only Ele elephant trunk. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus. Uh, so that was that was my uh, two action to cast a spell. My third action I'll use to uh, motivate Lucky. Okay, command an animal. Lucky with uh, two actions. Uh, Mr. Beaver. Uh, it Badger, is Beaver. Badger, Badger, sorry. Beaver. He's going to move Excuse up there. Excuse me? <laughs> he's going to move up there and then just chill out for a moment. Okay, great. All right, bringing us back to... I can remove this. <laughs> bringing us back to Aurelium. So for the record, Asius. I, I, uh, Asius. I had, I had oh, cast... Sorry. Yes, sorry. You went so I know, last. I usually... Uh, I'm usually forgotten. Um, so as a quick reference, I think I've cast Hydraulic Push like five times. I think I missed all five yeah. times. <laughs> but this time I hit and crit. It was a... At one know, point I was like, why Matt's, like, Matt's like, it's way more fun when I crit. Oh, it's so much better. <laughs> I was like, why does he like this thing? It, it doesn't seem... It, doesn't, it, it never seems to do anything. Yeah, except for it just wipes out an opponent. That was great. Um, I didn't realize it did so much damage on a crit. Yeah, on a crit, 66. Yeah, yeah that's great. Wow. That's wild. Okay. Um, so I will rage. Okay. I will then yep. move... Uh, uh, up in front of um, uh, Villic in the diagonal. So it's going to take me two moves to get there. And that is my turn. You have 20 or 25? 20. Not until I get to. Here? Yeah, so I'm going to move, move one more over. I'll step, whatever you want to call sure. it. Sure. I'm no, uh, one back right there. Right okay. In front of him. All right. Aurelium is going to go next. What a good name. I like that. It is Aurelium. actually. It sounds like a Aurelium. potion. It sounds like a, it's a, a rare Elysium mineral. is that place in Greece. So like, it's like the, the unobtainium. Oh, unobtainium. That's the movie Core. Love that movie. <laughs> no, no, no. From uh, uh, isn't it from Core? Avatar. 
so it's I thought it's from Chorus. It's well. definitely from Avatar. Unobtainium is used in a lot of different <laughs> science <laughs> fictions as a, as, a, as a sort of a joke term. Uh, yeah. to Excuse anything me. that's super rare. <laughs> that's unobtainium. That they they'll call it unobtainium. It's not supposed to be literally called that. It's like a Maybe joke. Maybe it's name. adamantium. Mm -hmm. Well, Avatar did not get that. Not before. like kryptonite. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's a real thing, though, right? Is, Isn't Kryptonite a is, Krypton. Krypton? Is that a real thing? Or um, right? I do not know. My I, I went to school for physics, yes, but my my knowledge of physics and comic books. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> the uh, the imp seems to start twisting her hands around. Dark energy crackles around them as she begins casting a spell. Um, she summoned that that sin spawn. That's so a nope. <laughs> that's a nope for me, dog. This hopefully the well in. was. She's well, gonna I, use, I think there's a cooldown on the well. So yeah. So she's going to use all three of her actions to cast a summon animal spell. Oh Christ! Can you like if you're using all three fire? actions, <laughs> all summon <laughs> spells I think are three actions. Yeah. Because yeah. they're strong though. Like it makes up? sense, right? Like they're, I don't yeah. know if those are gaseous fumes or just. This is not a crocodile, but it looks kind of like a crocodile. Ugh. Is it a crocodile to me? The fuck is, is it a, actually that big? Yeah, it's a large creature, so it okay. takes up four squares. Oh two my by two. goodness. So a, <laughs> a crocodile <laughs> emerges magically through the summon power of the magic um, <sighs> from like that show, fire. <laughs> uh, from, uh, from her action. It comes out of the water. What is it? It's a crocodile. crocodile. Oh, it is. A, it's a crocodile. It's a. She casts summon animal. So it's like just like a druid spell, but she casts summon animal. But she as just, a quick reminder, next level when I cast enlarged person, you'll be that. Um, <laughs> so she or it uh, it uh, lunges out of the water towards Asius with a jaw attack. Is does that it, lunge one does it have action? Reach? Uh, it gets two actions: one to move, one to jaw you. Okay, so one was the lunge. One was the move. Okay. One was second the move. Is attack. I'll be very prosaic instead of descriptive. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will take a stride action and I will move up to my speed, which is 20 feet. Okay. Five, 10. Okay. I have completed action one. <laughs> For action two, That's I will I initiate a strike attack using melee jaws plus 10. I passed. <laughs> okay. Good now, thing it doesn't have reach. I don't for, know how many actions that left. For, mm -hmm. uh, for people at home who enjoy uh, awesomeness, <laughs> all right, the waters, of, <laughs> the waters boil it and rocks. royal as she summons forth a massive crocodile. It leaps and lunges from the water, landing in front of Asius, and strikes at him with a, his jaws attack. I got a twenty. That's a hit. It does D10 plus four damage. Oh, Christ. Uh, that's going to be nine damage. Okay. Excuse me. You're excused. <laughs> As it bites you, its bite does damage, but it also has the grab ability. So we talked about last week. Death roll. <laughs> it does have a death roll ability, man. Yeah? Yeah. It has to have a creature grabbed. Uh oh. Well, <laughs> step is, one. Is you'd say grab the creature. Um, I, I think that you got hit. You're... But you already are bit. Oh no no! Well, it said it's. Oh, it's probably a reflex after that to to grab. Well, let's find out. Dun dun dun. I, I, uh, I the guess. monster automatically grabs the target until the end of the monster's next turn. <sighs> the creature is grabbed by whatever part body part the monster attacked with, and the body part cannot be used to strike creatures until the grab. So what did it bite? Has my ended. arm? No, it it, it can't grab it, your it upper bite, torso. It can't <laughs> bite you. Oh okay. Because <laughs> it's holding you. Okay. So Bob, you're immobilized and flat footed. <sighs> And if you attempt to Damn. do anything that would require manipulation, you have to succeed at a DC five check or it's lost. Okay. Okay. Nah, we got it. So it's basically just holding you down in its jaws right now. Gore is I right got him right where I him. want him. Okay. Yeah. I got, yeah. <laughs> I got him, guys. Okay. So that was the crocodile. So next, Gore. Gore, Gore is ready to roll on this guy. This escalated very quickly. <laughs> Sun charge that bitch. The problem <laughs> is I was readying my dagger you to were. attack elite right. Irelium. And now, now you gotta put your dagger away you and pull your great sword. And that's two dagger. actions. You can sun charge with your dagger, right? Can you drop it for free? You can drop it for drop free. Drop that dagger, man. We'll pick it up later. Yeah, but it still takes an action. Well, it takes an action well, to drop the dagger for free. And then pull out the sword for one. Well, I'd like to point out that you're not attack. even a this isn't even a real creature. You're you're attacking her spells. That's what I was uh, in the back of my head. Yeah. So is it a real crocodile? No, it's summoned. But it's but a it's magical a, but it's, crocodile. Like you could have, you can, nope. your sorcerer can cast this spell. Yeah. But All it's right. a magical crocodile. But it still is hurting no, it's a intent. natural crocodile that has been summoned here by magic. Right, right. So it's been brought here magically, yeah. but once it's we here, it's a real life kill, crocodile. Sure. If it dies, event. it does fade away. But yeah. it's not like a 
yeah, it's not like. But a, I mean, all the more reason. I mean, Gore should still try to kill it. If she basically can. just like Pokemon it. Yeah. Remember that uh, thing, Burl, about like getting on one side. <laughs> Burl's or uh, Gore's out there like trying to go the other way. <laughs> I mean, he could go that way. You could do a pincher attack. Yeah. Flank it. <laughs> then this idea. Hey, if he's Are trying you, to, if he's, he's trying to engage with the the troll. Right I mean, it's, no, it's I think to trust you. Seem close enough to us. <laughs> I think that's good. Two moves. Two moves. I think I'm good. throwing my dagger at Aurelium. Okay, minus two. Oh <clears throat> God. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. It's not gonna hit. Twelve. That is a miss. <laughs> no. All right. So now your you dagger have... sails over the creature, clangs into the wall, and lands somewhere near the rune well. So you, okay. you have nothing except for a torch. Got my fists. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and, and he has his sword readied. He can pull it out at he, the next. You know. All right, Villick. Well, Jaw. All right, Am you, I in range of that or no? No, you are not. You'll you have to move up. You have to move up. up. Just one movement. Think, yeah, one, one. Okay, that's fine. So Wolf Jaw is one. Yep. Moving up to it is one. Yep. And then Flurry of Blows. So you, I can attack twice. Yep, yep. Flurry of Blows. Two, right. two attacks right. uh, with your Wolf Jaw. Now, don't forget, Danny, you're going to add a plus one to this because of your ham, uh, hand wraps are magical. So it's actually going to be with, a, you're going to add nine to these instead of eight. Nine to both of these rolls? Nine to both oh, of them. Am I doing one roll first yep, and then sure. damage? Yep. Okay. All right. So roll 20. I got 14 plus nine. 23. 23. Hey, remember that adding thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just say I just, the number. Sorry, I just do that. I just, yeah, just, just add it up. Yeah. Just add it up. All right. It's 23. Yep. You hit. So... 1d8 plus then 3. I roll a uh, 1d8 plus 3. This is against the Gator. So it's not 4, though, because my dex, it's a, it's a dex no, thing? This is, or? No, oh. because it, you use your strength for damage, and you use your dexterity for hitting. Yes. Okay. So then I'm plus 3. Okay, choose? so 10. No. 10 damage. That's a fourth 10 dam thing. Wait, what? 10 damage? 10 total? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. perfect. All right, that's great hit. All right, and then you get to attack again because of Flurry of Blows, so go ahead and make your second attack. Also, this one, I don't get a negative, right? Nope, it's, it's still, a, it's still at plus nine because it's basically like you're hitting, you're like attacking at the same time, ba -ba -ba. basically. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. Ten. Ugh, that's a mess. <laughs> well, okay, it's a whole, well, I rolled a one. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a miss. It's a miss. Yeah, so you say nat one. Ten. <laughs> yeah, so ten misses nat and nat one means that you would miss anyway. Yes. So, uh, but you do strike the okay. uh, uh, summon alligator once, and it's biting. Whoa. It's like is it an alligator? I'm sorry. Not? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's a saltwater Nile crocodile. <laughs> um, it can also live in freshwater if it needs to. It can live in freshwater if it needs to. <laughs> All right, burl. Dun dun dun! You I got any of those hydraulic pushes around? <laughs> I got three more. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> Whether or not they hit, and you uh, can resolve some of those. Get up. Where, this is where being a sorcerer is nice because you know you just the same, same spell. Oh, over. that and it's fucking flying, which makes it better for you to hit it. <laughs> I was standing below it, like waving her clubs. Primitive beast. So the the crocodile slash alligator is within sixty feet, so I don't have to move. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna just hit it with another hydraulic push. Okay. Oh, baby. See so uh, what we got here. Crocodile has AC eighteen. Uh, 11 plus 8 is 19. Hit. Said, yes. Oh. Yes. All right. So it's just normally um, 3d6, and you're not back Still five. pretty damn good, though. Uh, plus one, Matt. Plus one because it's a dangerous first level spell. spell. So, so pretty good. That's fire really hot 11, rolls. 12, 13, 14, 15, and you're knocked back five feet. Okay. I would imagine. Yep. Yes. Yeah. yeah and, and that breaks the grab. Thanks, yeah. man. Thanks, Burl. Uh, and then with so my basically, right? Like the the crocodile, uh, the crocodile came and it leaped onto to Asius, bit him, starts ripping onto him. Villick kind of jumps in, kicks him in the face, <laughs> back spins off of it, and then a huge blast of water strikes the crocodile, knocking it back. It opens up its mouth, mm, drinks it. <laughs> um, delicious. Teamwork salt water. makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. Burl, uh, you have one action left. To bro. move Lucky, I'm going to double move him. Okay. With hopes to uh, so. Obviously, right now, he is not in melee combat. Correct. But I anticipate him moving uh, closer to Asius and uh, Billick. 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 So is there a way that I can move uh, Lucky so that he would be able to... I guess if I go, like, here, sure. and he moves in... No, because it's still not, not going to be it's still uh, not flank. flanking. Yeah. But I can't move to the position he is in because I want to be in this square where he is. Correct. You can't do that. Not to mention, he'd probably get eaten immediately. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's, exactly. He's named. a nimble badger. All right, he'll, he's just going to hang out there. Um, okay. I'm going to move up. Okay, great. Okay. Asius. 
All right. <laughs> I will uh, move forward. Um, let's see here. Yes, I'll move forward one and bring down uh, Destiny. And not grappled. Not grappled. And not, I'm not grappled. Thanks to... Uh, that is a 13. Ah! That is definitely a miss. All right. Imagine if you were enlarged, yes, plus two. I hear you. Um, <laughs> I will... Uh, um, he would be five feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring down Destiny again. Yeah. Minus four? Minus, Minus five. five. Uh, this Ooh. one is 15. That's also a miss. Uh, hey, guys, I'm not, uh, not doing too well. All right, Azia steps forward, raging, swinging his maul back and forth like a crazy person. Um, <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> yeah, it, it is right. a crocodile. So uh, Aurelium is going to spend one action to sustain her summon. Oh, she has to keep it up. Yeah, it's just and when okay. she sustains it, it gets its two actions, which it's going to use to wow to, to bite with its jaws. Ouch. Miss, 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 miss. 20 versus Azia. Hits. Hey, all right. Uh, D10. Uh, D10 plus four. Ah, you're right. Seven damage. Ooh, still, still hanging out of my stamina there. All right, and then it grabs you. Okay. And then with its second action, it's going to do a death roll attack. Oh boy. It has to have a requirement: is the creature has to have the creature grab effect. The crocodile tucks its legs and rolls rapidly, twisting and snapping its victims around. Ready it gets to roll to, out. It gets to make a, an extra jaw strike with a plus two circumstance wait, wait, bonus wait. to uh, against the grab creature. And it is. It, it, I'm is he's grabbed? Yes. yes, automatically. No, oh, with that, that with attack. The hit, with the yeah. successful hit. Because I, I did break him free. Yes. But now he is. He got he's hit re again with the jaws. That grabs him. So yeah. this jaws attack would be at plus five because minus five for a second attack. But he gets a plus two bonus to it because of the death roll ability. Yeah. Mm. So it's seven <laughs> plus seven. I seen it on Discovery Channel. 18. That's uh, equal, so it's a hit. Uh, so you take 13 damage. Uh, and, oh, it, and you're I in was, his mouth. And it knocks you prone. <laughs> And you're wailing about. So you're prone and grabbed. Dragging you about. And it's flinging you about. Yeah. Yes. It's like Jaws. Where you're All right, so like, that's its two attacks. Now, she herself has two actions left. Two actions left, which she is going to use to cast a fear spell onto Gore. On Gore is bullshit. 13 damage? Gore, it, Gore is not You said 13 damage? Anything. 13 damage. Okay. Not till fifth or seventh level. All right, the creature <laughs> turns towards you. It cackles madly. Fear. The fear of monsters. They will come for you in the night, boy. And she raises up her small, clawed, demonic hand, and magical fear rushes over you. Make a will save DC 20. Gore's defender. Gore is the defender of the night, man. I got 16. So that is a failure. Mm. You are frightened too. <laughs> you run away. <laughs> you are scared and you You're cower. Shitless. <laughs> you you shit yourself. Do you remember what frightened does? Minus one to everything? No, you got frightened too. Oh, my, minus two to everything. So you have a minus two to all of your checks and you have a minus uh, two to all of your DCs. <laughs> I have a, there's a second level spell I can take to make someone immediately not frightened. I was like, that's stupid. Why would I take that? Yeah, except for Gore is frightened easily, I guess. Now I'm going to take a large person. <laughs> okay, so she's done. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's done. Gore. Uh, run, run away. He doesn't have to. He's not panicked. No. Oh, if you're panicked, so panicked, you have to run. Is panicked uh, three uh, three levels of uh, frightened? No. It's a, it's a whole If you critical fail the fear, you become, you become frightened yeah. three and panic for one round. I'm ready to, uh, on, uh, as a or fleeing, of, uh, fleeing. It's called meta fleeing. meta gaming. Uh, <laughs> Burl is ready to um, advance and throw some some spells on that bitch. So and if you want to go in what's and fight, that bitch. Uh, the if, can if, if, Ethereum. <laughs> I have a question. I haven't quite found a clear answer on. All right, okay. grappling hook is you. Utilitarian, or can it also be used as a weapon? No, it's definitely not a weapon. It's a climbing tool. Okay. Uh, you could try to throwing, climb her. Throwing a grappling hook at her would be no, it would actually be less effective than if you grabbed a brick and just <laughs> threw a brick at her. Okay. okay. What if he Which was is trying to, to say it would be very not effective. What if he is trying to uh, attach the grappling hook to her and then. Oh my climb goodness. Up the, <laughs> yeah, nope. Oh, okay. I mean, maybe if it was like a gigantic colossus and you were playing Shadows of the Colossus and you had to defeat the monster that way, but. Move me to my uh, move me to my dagger. I uh, think it's, it's behind that, her. Is that that X? Yeah, it's yes. that little X. Yep. I will e 
quit the dagger. Yep, pick it up. And I'll throw it at her. All right. Well, you're no right penal- next to her. No penalty. Oh, she's no, she's 20, 20 feet up. Feet up. Yeah, no penalty to attack, though, because you're right there. Oh, critical. Oh, critical. 20. Critical. <laughs> All right, roll your so, damage. And you double it, right? With a regular. Yeah, so yeah. What, no, what's a dagger? I don't think a dagger's D8. 1D4? I think a dagger's D4, D4 there. Plus Rory. strength. <laughs> plus your strength. 1D4 times two. Look at that. Three. Eight. What's your strength? Uh, my strength is four. Seven. Doubled. Fourteen. Fourteen. Woo. There we go. Woo. All You're right. On that board. Take that, Your you dagger flies bitch. up into her and stabs into her side. She howls and tweaks and shrieks. Ah, oh, strike me good. I haven't felt pain like that in millennia. Oh, you better get it. fucking ready, bitch. Feels good to be alive. Oh, all right. Happy to oblige. <laughs> <laughs> I will revisit it in turn. Okay. Uh, so that's the end of your turn. Uh, m- your fear drops to, from minus two to minus one. It just automatically. Yeah, at the end of your turn, it just round. each round okay. it just burns off. Okay, as if you know the fear f- lessens. Yeah, um, especially after you fucking stab the bitch with the yeah, with that, the is, that is true. Uh, Villick. There we go. Sorry, it froze. It's okay. Um, and I'm not right next to it, right? You are no, you're not. So you have to use one action to get in. Am I able to move behind it? You can't tell. Yeah, what's your speed? No. Uh, uh, 25. 25. Yeah. Assuming no AOL. Yeah, yeah, you have enough. Now, if the creature has an opportunity reaction, it can use it, but you're taking that risk, but the, it may not. That's fine. Okay, so uh, Villick quickly does like a tumbling uh, <laughs> back somersault, <laughs> flips to the other side of the creature. And here's what's yeah, crazy, man. Bob. You're prone. And you're grabbed by you're, the creature. You're in the mouth. But you're still threatening it. Oh, my yeah. goodness. So, I mean, look, he's, getting, he's getting dragged around. So the, the creature is, you know. Because I'm frailing. Well, no, I'm well, no, frailing. Yeah. yeah. You're, not a, you're not some punk yeah. ass. No. Like, he's you're sitting sorry. there, like, grabbing onto its yeah. jaw. Like, sure, you're crap. You're like, you're, oh, it's a beaut. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. all right. Sure, you're right grappled by a crocodile. But, <laughs> all right, so, Villick, you flip around to behind the creature. You are now flanking it. The creature is now flat-footed to you and Aesius. So its AC drops from 18 down to 16. All right, so uh, Villick, get up. you have two more actions. <laughs> yeah, wait till I'm standing. I'm going to uh, wolf jaw. Now, uh, with wolf yes. jaw, after you set it once, doesn't it last for a minute? Yeah, well, so you're... You, no, he's already yeah, in stance, I mean, that's what he's so, saying. Yeah, oh, are okay. you in a story of blows? Well, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't forget a uh, couple things, uh, Danny. You can flurry of blows with wolf jaw. Right, right. Yeah. And you already so have you wolf jaw. Well, the other that. thing is wolf jaw has the backstabber. Ability, which means yep. that if he is flanking a creature, he yep. also does an additional point of damage. Ah. Mm, I did not know that. But my yes. point is that he already has wolf jaw engaged. Yeah, but it's wolf right? stance. It, wolf engaged. stance yes. gives him the option of using the wolf jaw attack. Got it. All right, Danny, go ahead and make two attacks at plus nine each. All right. Yeah. Ooh. Plus nine to your D20. First one roll. is 26. Okay, right. so that's a critical because the AC of the creature dropped from 18 to, to 16. 16. Oh, wow. And you just did 10 more than it. Yep. So that's that's going to be damage uh, that you're going to roll, but don't get you're going to add one because of your backstabber ability. And you're then when, whatever right, you so get. Just, yeah, so it's the D8 plus four. So seven. So that's mm-hmm. double to 14. Nice. Ooh. And then you get to make the second attack at plus nine. Yeah. Uh, 15. And that is a miss. Mm. Oh, by one. Yeah. Dang. But Danny has a third action left. That's right. And it's. It'd be and then if I do flurry of blows again, I get minus how much? Okay, well, you can't yeah. flurry of blows again because flurry of blows. Regular, I just do a normal attack. But you can just make a normal attack. Normally it would be minus right, 10. Yeah, it's but it's minus normal eight normal. because you're uh it's an agile weapon. Yes. So you get minus eight because yeah, it's so your if third it's agile, attack. then you get minus four per attack. extra attack. Yeah. yeah. So, or and minus four, yeah. Minus yeah, four. so you're at minus eight. So basically it's plus one. Yeah. So Okay, that's fine. But no, only, you twenty plus one. You, need a, you, you roll need, a nineteen, what do you mean? Yeah. You need a fifteen. Well the creature's AC is only sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Danny. A one. No. <laughs> okay, well that doesn't do it. Every time. All right, Burl. So Every the crocodile time. is definitely low on hit points, but at the same time, but the quasit mean, has been damaged and yeah. it's been uncontested. So no, I, I, I feel Don't that. Worry, I got this. Yeah, as as you much as it may not seem the yes, case, yes. as your grandmother yeah, yeah, you case, it may not seem that Asius and 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 um, uh, Villic have it on control. But you know, Asius does best when he is being grappled by a giant beast. So I'm going to head towards Gore to help uh, help okay. mitigate that situation. Okay. Uh, well, it's 60 feet. It's still within range. It's a hydraulic push all day, baby. 
Uh, I'm just going to blast him from here. Or right. Blast her from here. And I'll say this too, Matt. If you knock her <clears throat> in the air, uh, that's going to knock she, her down. Okay. Yeah. Mm, that sounds good. <laughs> So yeah, let's go. Especially for Gore over here. Yeah. Uh, 24. Ooh, Ooh hit. Yes. All right. Nice. Come on. Uh, we got 3d6, uh, and they do knock back five right. feet, so, so I don't know what that so means. So she's going to make a reflex save to see if she can stay in the air. Mm. All right. So the damage she is going to take is plus one, so 10, 12, 13 damage. Nice damage. <laughs> and then 13 damage, and then whatever five feet reflex save will happen. Yep. Okay. She tumbles and falls. <laughs> Wah, 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 you need wah, wah, that wah. sound effect on your board. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's, that's the sound effect we were waiting for. Ooh, spooky Halloween. And the, the princess reveals herself. <laughs> it was uh, always you made sound of like Link dying. Yeah, yeah it did. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll have to put like some Link sound effects. So like when you guys open up a door. <laughs> the like, secret dungeon. Do, 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 do. um, <laughs> so anyways, um, so she's still flying. So the, basically the massive jet of water strikes the small creature. She like spins in the air, tumbles down, kind of starts falling to the ground. Her little wings flap out at the last minute, stopping her from splatting into the ground. And so she's still flying, but she's like, Basically, at like head level okay. with you, Gore. And Lucky is gonna fucking charge in. Charge into the. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah. He uh, one move and then one attack. Okay, maybe uh, luck, maybe Lucky. Okay. So he's gonna go with the. Uh, maybe lucky. Gonna go with the the jaws. He's gonna go in. <laughs> bite on that bitch. Plus six. Uh, yeah, it's twenty four. Wow. Uh, so we've got a one d eight plus two. Woo! Ten damage. Ten. Max damage. Oh. The badger rips. The yes. Crocodile. The badger rips the crocodile. <laughs> the throw it out. The right. classic enemy of the badger. As the, the uh, as the creature is slain, I would have had him next turn, guys. The magic, <laughs> the magic that summoned it fails, and the creature begins to sort of mm. disappear into into motes of arcane wispy energy. Bad, uh, Lucky tries to desperately eat yes. some of the flesh if he can. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it, it, he <laughs> gets a big bite of it and it just disappears oh, no. in his hair. All right, Azius. Well, you're no longer grabbed. No, but I have to stand up. Yep. Yeah. So you take one action to stand up. Yes. And how far? I mean, away you don't have to stand up. Bitch. She can, is 5, 10, 15, uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Perfect. So that's, I think, exactly charge. enough for a sudden charge. Sun charge. All right. <laughs> and Azius is, oh, so this is sweet. So Azius is like, I'm going to get him. Get, and then all of a sudden, like, the badger comes in and rips, and he's like, good on you, buddy. Yeah. And he, just, <laughs> he leaps to his feet, charges up the yep. staircase, just as for this. For the forge. Like, for the forge. she's, like, sitting there at Gore, and she's like, I'm going to. Oh shit! As, yeah. turns, as this massive dwarf just comes up, hammer in the air. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Twenty three hits. Yes. Full damage, Finally. and you're raging. So plus ten. Uh, no, it's. Um, I think plus ten, job. It's plus six. No, you're because uh, you, you always do plus four because of your strength. Yes. Yeah. And then your giant instinct gives you plus oh, six. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Plus six for raging. So, yeah. And then plus four for my strength. So yes. plus so ten. 12 yeah. Plus ten total. Yeah. Oh, that's a 19 damage. <laughs> <laughs> boom Destiny. Right. Asius. She's still <laughs> 10 feet in the air. So no, 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 she's at head level now. She's, well, she's, at, she's, she's at head level head now. Level so Asius squat. comes yeah. up and yeah. brings yeah. a massive <laughs> maul, crushing down onto the creature's Clunk. face. The creature like almost splatters into the ground from the strike. It's like a, it's like a fly with the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, like a fly with a fly sweater. She struggles because she's not even small. I think she's tiny. So oh, she's yeah. literally only like One this fourth big. of a... Yeah, yeah she's like a foot tall. The size of a hammer. She like spins up and like... <laughs> Okay, that one didn't feel so good. <laughs> My BDSM only lasts so long. <laughs> um, she uh, staggers. Safe word. Safe word. She <laughs> yeah. Buttercup. Yeah. Buttercup. <laughs> Buttercup. <laughs> she goes. Uh, she like looks around, panicked. So she's gonna call upon her abyssal healing Ugh. to heal one two d six. That's all right. She can only do this once around, but it takes one action. Does, uh, Only do, for do any fighters have a an attack of opportunity? That does not because it does not have the manipulate trait. This is not a spell. It's an innate ability. So, But if she did try to cast a spell, Gore would get to make an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. And this close. She's not going to try to cast. Mm, she is going to try to cast a spell. Which? It's, a, it's an innate spell. So she takes two actions and starts going. And then you get to make an attack of opportunity. You see, you see her doing this nonsense. So actually, she starts to cast a spell and starts to fade from view because Quaz can uh, cast invisibility at will. But he, oh. has, he has no weapon out. Oh, that explains the image. You oh, punch. you don't have a weapon? You can punch. Oh, yeah. Punching punch. her in the face. I mean, worst yeah. case, yeah. <laughs> so here's the deal. So you, you get to punch her. Yeah. You're uh, 
believe it or not, you're, I think, are you an expert or are you I, trained? I'm, I would imagine. An unarmed. An, an expert in unarmed. Uh, I'm an expert in unarmed. Oh, wow. Okay, so, nice. okay, so you're even an expert in unarmed. <laughs> so, plus, so here's so the deal. Six. You get to hit and you do damage. If you crit, you disrupt the spell. Oh, oh wow. wow. Is sick. that just general for attacks? Of, okay. Yeah. I still got my minus one. You are still a little frightened. Yeah. yeah. But you're not that frightened. Mm. So what, what's an unarmed strike? It's just... Uh, 22. The strength plus Hit, level. It's, uh, it's a, six. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be D3. Uh, I'm sorry, D4 plus your strength. That's the damage. Nice. Now, here's the bad news. You didn't disrupt her. That's... But... Oh. Unless, it, unless she's dead. Oh. She is dead. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hot roll four. Punch her. Yeah. So after all that, like, so in this Bitch, fight, you, down. you've like thrown a, you have your sword, your dagger, you're like the true fighter. And then at the last minute, she's like, what are you going to do now? And you're like, bah! <laughs> <laughs> Stay yeah. Now, because it's a unarmed strike and you're not a monk, normally uh, only, well, you can do lethal damage with your fist, but you take a penalty. Only monks can do that for free. Uh, so normally this wouldn't have killed her because it's, you would, she'd just sure, be knocked out. She, but okay. she's a demon. So when she goes to zero hit points, she starts cackling and like, like bubbling up and mm. starts to like fall apart and lift. She goes, Sexy. Ah! I am banished. I will remember you, Gore. I will find you from the hells of abyss. I, I will destroy oh. your... Oh, I no. didn't do anything. <laughs> Except <laughs> fucking wreck you. <laughs> All right. And Aurelium is defeated. It was a little unorthodox, but the uh, group managed to accomplish it. No, that was, that was good. And I grabbed my dagger. <laughs> yeah, you picked the money. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Can I have double daggers? With my knowledge of Arcana, Arcana, I'd like to take a closer look at that. By the way, Arcana is a, uh, a stand-in until I get the second skill to detect magic. <laughs> <laughs> so I will, eventually I will have detect magic. Was, there was no, there was no other door. It was nope, just the, the altar up here. Uh, there was those two doors there, oh, but yeah, th those yeah. are literally just like service service chambers. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, well, Aurelium, the Quasit Witch, is slain. Closet Witch. <laughs> Closet Witch. <laughs> Closet. <laughs> That's a small demon that'll aid. Will come through tunnels. Body demon. Thank right. you for that naturally read description. I. Kind of remember half of that. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was from earlier, yes. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, well, the Cathedral of Wrath is defeated. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but uh, we'll wait for Bob. Yeah, I imagine we'll find some goodies. I, I spend extra attention looking for goodies. Bob, we defeated all right, so Sorry, you guys had to drain the lizard there. <laughs> yeah, so you, while you guys are while you're like <laughs> investigating, in like you're just pissing in the pool, like oh, oh sorry, my I bad. I had to down that flask before we even started this. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> okay, I so, do have that water if we need it. <laughs> okay, um, I'm touching that. So, a couple of things for starters, there is her plus one returning dagger. Uh, Ooh, so this that was pretty cool. This she dagger gives you a plus one bonus to hit, and it has the returning property which means after your attack is done mm. zhoop, it just appears back in your hand so you can throw it again i don't want to name any names but i think that that is right up gore's alley yeah that's not for, for me. Thro throwing daggers and, and, and as and as we dagger. noted when you hurl it it like has leaves like a red streak <laughs> as it like some sort of it. magical tracer element. like a magic tracer round yeah yeah, yeah exactly Cool. Yeah, that's all if you're same Alan Gore. same stat as the dagger, just plus one. But it's it's plus one, and it is magical so because there are certain creatures that can only be really struck by a magical blade. But it is a plus one, uh, returning. Yeah, that's dagger. the important part. So it's plus returning. one and returning. Yeah. yeah. So I, with without objection, I'd like to uh, to will that. To, I only to have my family's dagger. <laughs> that's the only dagger I will wield. I I don't care about weapons. Now, hopefully, uh, this has. Has highlighted to you guys that you guys are you guys are a little weak in the ranged department. We are. Uh, wait, I, wait have, till I have a couple hatchets that oh, I throw, but that's just about wait. It. <laughs> just wait until we get to second level spells. <laughs> We're hitting dudes with acid arrow. Nice. 
Oh, that sounds pretty sick. <laughs> well, and also resist energy and then enlarge person. So enlarge. those are my three spells. How much was the short bow we grabbed worth? Um, in terms of gold? gold, I think maybe. 10 gold? Okay. I think so. But I mean, it, that's an item from the PH. That's an item from the core rule book. So it's easy to find. I thought it was three. Maybe I don't remember. And I was going to pay you guys for it since you're selling it at <laughs> half price anyway. <laughs> All right. Unless we find some magical weapon that somehow increases my attack you need, spell. You need, you need like a staff or something. Yeah, yeah. like or like uh, sorcerers a don't robe. need an implement, but like, like like the monk has with the wraps, you know, mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Magical visors. Yes, sir. The, All right. The so, dice wasn't plus one. Huh? The hit, uh, the, never mind. <laughs> plus, plus one to hit. Just plus one to hit. Yeah. Not, no, it, nothing to No do bonus to on the damage. Correct. Magical weapons for their level will give you a, a, a benefit to the attack bonus. The accuracy, not Correct. the damage. Ooh. Correct. Um, technically, it's called a it's called a plus one potency rune. That's potency what we call it. Rune. So mm. the potency is what adds to your attack. Yeah, all, all of my nomenclature is from yeah. hold over from D and D hold over from D and D <laughs> to try to okay. describe it in that way. So a couple of things. So as you spend some time here, Burl. Yeah. Uh, and with your knowledge of Arcana. Oh, plus five. You you begin <laughs> you begin you begin to put together some troubling and disturbing information. Guys, I'm troubled and disturbed. You believe You got a potion for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's that flask? True. You got the flask, I thought. You believe that you are standing at the precipice of what the, the creature had called a rune well. Yeah. But as you think back to your knowledge of Arcana, mm. rune wells were exceptionally and incredibly powerful artifacts mm. used by the ancient Thessalonian wizard overlords known as the Rune Lords. How, how do they, what do they, how do they use it? What do they? Sure. <clears throat> well, she cut her blood. So well, she did. Yeah. From your Arcana. Now this is ancient knowledge, but as we know, Burl has a particular interest in Varicia and in Zin Shalast. That's true. Which is your sort of hidden motive. Yeah, we don't know about that. You guys don't know about <laughs> yeah. that. But the, the Rune Lords were powerful wizards. And unlike today's wizards, which function and, and focus on different schools of magic like illusion and evocation, the Rune Lords were dedicated to the power of sin. There were seven rune lords for each of the seven sins. The rune wells allowed them to harness and collect the power of that sin. And through that, they could create unbelievable, powerful, magical artifacts, spells, and effects. You believe now, now this area of Varicia that you're in now, again, Thassalon was a nation but it was divided into seven different sort of states, but the states like warred with each other. Each of the states was dedicated to one of the different rune lords. Okay. This area was dedicated to the rune lord known as, are you ready for it? Gluttony. <laughs> Aslanast. Oh my God. Aslanast. Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> did, did yeah. A L A Z. A L A Z. N I S T. N I S T. She was the Rune Lord of Wrath. Oh, um, we are in the back of the Do you have any more of those empty flasks? In fact, no. <laughs> in fact, the statue you found earlier was likely a statue dedicated to her. It is entirely likely that Good without place. knowing it, <laughs> Sandpoint was built over an ancient Rune Lord like bastion or bunker. Interesting. Strong point, yeah. Now, from what you know of Rune Lords or Rune Wells, they were incredibly powerful ancient magics. This is not a rune well in a traditional sense. You suspect that this is some sort of minor rune well. You know, mm. that being said, uh, Asius, as an alchemist uh, adjacent, uh, I imagine you have many an empty... Uh, no, I jar. don't have any more left. He you have none empties? He breaks I, them because he gets so mad. Yeah, so he usually I, I, I drink it and <laughs> I kind of throw it, and then we get them back in town. But, but let's say tomorrow yeah. you're going to prepare some more. I, Where do you get those empty? Yeah, uh, I get them at the shop. Uh, so something that you kind of I fill it up with my, my jug. So something that you guys can sort of do is like, especially between adventures when you have what's called. So we've, we've dealt with uh, actions in combat. 
which you know you guys know you get three actions and we've also dealt with what we call exploration actions that's where you guys uh Seek. when you're seeking or scouting yeah. but sometimes when you have a lot of downtime especially between adventures you also get downtime actions and that's like things that take days or weeks mm -hmm. so one thing that you now have an option to do during any downtime that you might have is if you want to you can research further sort of the history of Thassalon the rune lords and the rune wells to maybe figure out more of what's going on but what you suspect is somehow some way and that way that's what you don't know yet but what you suspect is that somehow, some way, this rune well, this this sort of copy of a rune well, this was sort of like a a, a, mini, a, a, mi a mini, a minor mini version. Somehow, this thing awakened, and you suspect that when it awakened, maybe two, three years ago, Ooh. it sent that shock wave of it awakening is what sent that pulse of anger and wrath up yeah. through the city. Oh, and her dreams and stuff. Oh, right. yeah, now I remember. Okay. And, serial killer. And while mm -hmm. some people, it just manifested as like terrible, dark dreams and like, you know, divergent thoughts. In some people, it like that maybe were already a little twisted. Pushed them over the edge. It pushed them over yeah. the edge. Mm -hmm. Like Longjiko yeah. and his wife. Another guy that killed Like the, the stupid killer. guy who's serial killer. And probably, and Nualia, mm. who that night woke and barricaded her father's door yeah. mm -hmm. and set the church on fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we maybe save these people if we can? Well, I mean, the anger is passed. I mean, that Longe years ago. you know, that was a couple of years ago. It's already happened. So that's already happened. Now, what would have caused this thing to, you know, emerge and waken? The other thing that you notice is that when she summoned the sin spawn, it did diminish. And you suspect, knowing what you know about rune wells, it's likely that the recent violence especially the goblins and stuff and all the attacks probably is what fed this rune well and as she used its powers it diminished remember like you said it, it draws on sin in this one in case it draws on anger and wrath were the attack to have had happened on sandpoint and all the people in sandpoint slaughtered by a massive goblin oh, raid man, yeah you you have no idea this thing could have been capable of uh. unthinkable uh evil so it is very potent. Now, this thing is far beyond your capabilities to destroy or alter. Because, I mean, it oh, is. Oh, like, knock it over? It no, no. It is, <laughs> it is an ancient artifact from a, a, a magical empire that's 2,000 years old. Hmm. But, uh, you know, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to, like, you know, let Sheriff Hemlock know. Yeah, we'll then, put up some caution tape. Yeah, put up some caution tape. <laughs> oh, I got that in my bag. Stay away. <laughs> All right. But <laughs> Burl has a lot right. to, you know, Burl is kind of thinking and discussing a lot of this with you guys as you guys Grave make your danger as you guys make your way out of the catacombs. And as you guys are about to make your way out of the catacombs, you suddenly see just like out of the corner of your eye, like a little bit of like that, you know, that those words and runes that are written on the wall everywhere. They suddenly seem to shift. And suddenly it's in common, which you can all read. And it says. I'll see you soon. Oh, that's it. I'll that's see all you soon. soon. And then it like fades back into like the crazy random scribbles. Who uh, who's trying to talk to us here? I don't know. You don't know. See you soon. All right. Well, you guys. Em so, yeah. Well, you guys emerge from the catacombs of wrath, hmm. and now you are filled with true purpose and also wrath because while the while the catacombs of wrath may have been explored and its guardian Aurelium defeated yeah the seed that this catacomb has already planted is coming to bear yeah if people can access this kind of power like what are what are they going to be able to do to like summon all kinds of other sure. wrath wrath well, leveled but of more attacks. immediate importance this catacomb has found a willing disciple in the form of Nualia, Sorry, the man. erstwhile daughter of the former priest, once a beautiful Asimar woman, now dedicated to, to, to Lamashtu, slowly converting her beautiful angelic celestial form into that of a horrific demon as she commits herself to destroying Sandpoint and slaughtering its citizens as a means of a final transformation. For she will offer up Sandpoint as a burnt offering to her new goddess, <gasps> in the efforts to destroy the city. Only one thing now st stands between her and the destruction of Sandpoint. <coughs> Whatever she is tempting to do in the bottom of Thistletop involving this powerful creature or entity known as Malfasheknor, which she is trying to release even now. The time is clicking, clock, the clock is ticking, heroes. You must make your way to Thistletop. 
Fight your way through the guardians of Thistletop, the hordes of goblins, including legendary chieftain Rip Nuggets. <laughs> oh no, Rip Nuggets there? Oh, perhaps, fellas. Ha perhaps have a showdown. Oh with the legendary bugbear hunter, Bruthaximus. Mm, that guy. I don't care about Bruthaximus. Rip Nugget is where I'm at. And then in the depths of Thistletop, <laughs> confront Indeed. Nualia and stop her plans for the destruction of Sandpoint and the release of Malpha Sheknor. Uh, the Knights of Last Call have stepped up to the game. You guys are ready to go. As you emerge from the catacombs, you are filled with renewed sense of purpose and- Right out here. <laughs> and, and, and accomplishments. You have defeated Aurelium and you have put the minor Runewell of Wrath to breast for Ooh. the time being. Everyone is awarded a hero point. Yay, back on the board. <laughs> and you guys advance to level three. Dun, dun, oh dun, yeah. Dun. Congratulations. Y'all ready for a large person? <laughs> yeah. All right. You get huge, you get huge. <laughs> large. Large, yeah. You get four by four, yeah. or two by two. All right, so next time we will begin part four of Burnt <laughs> Offerings, which will be Thistletop. The heroes will try to make their way through Thistletop as quickly as possible. You're going to have to use your resolve very carefully because you're going to want to make good progress because the goblins will organize a defense. And every time you have to go back to town in order to rest up, you're giving Nualia that much more time to try to free Malpha Sheknor. And news alert, I mean, you don't want to have to fight Malpha Sheknor. And so. Thistletop is some, it's a distance. It's it, a Yeah, it's like a good day or day, yeah. two but days march. I assume we're going back into town, talking to the At sheriff. At least and one rest, rest to of course. Show. Yes, so of we course. should be fully healed. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. You're going to go back to the Rusty Dragon. You guys are going to inform Sheriff Hemlock of everything that happened underneath the town and that he needs to post guardsmen and 24-7. Eat some of that good curry. Right, you, you guys are going to re-meet up with, lunch, uh, with uh, Amico and uh, kind of, you know, lick your wounds. So uh, everyone's resolve resets mm -hmm. back to uh four and so uh from a four to you didn't use any a four you didn't use any to get back spells no i didn't need i i had i cast through three hydraulic I bushes did. i thought you didn't at the other other yeah i thought you were out of spells at the first part at the first part and then you Against, used resolve uh, to get back uh, uh, oh to get them all back to get to half of them back yeah. yeah not not during this fight the fight last week from yeah. last week yeah, yeah we didn't so I, I could use one now to, but if we're gonna sleep, then correct. You get all your spells back when you I'll take sleep. a when you take a sleep. Anyways, I'll take. All a sleep. right, and so next time we're gonna pick it up with uh, Thistletop, and the group is gonna do some more uh, goblin slaying as well as some a uh, little bit more of the dungeon exploring as you guys go back to your your goblin hunting roots as you guys try to bring this end uh, bring this uh, calamity to a close and finish up the first adventure. Yay. Oh yeah. Gore and I are, are ready to, to kill more goblins. And more ready to roll out. Better. All right. Thanks, everybody. And uh, no offense. Uh, let's uh, <laughs> real quick uh, final thoughts on the beer of the week. Uh, it was strong. It was strong. Oh, oh yeah. Delicious. But it was smooth. Yeah. No, it, it went smooth. down smooth. It was dangerous. Uh, <laughs> it's like a shotgun. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like a shotgun. Smooth, but you know. It's it's one of my favorite beers that I. It's like eleven bucks for a six pack. But you know, but I think two dollars a beer is is for that what, kind of beer. Is what I want to pay for a quality beer. Yeah, that's, I, I mean, just they, remember that one time I brought them over for you. And we, it was like me, you, and maybe it was me, you, and Matt. I think I drank four beers. I was I was fucking lit. I couldn't. Where I, we? If I drank two of these, I, I would have I a hard. I would have a hard time driving. Hours. Hours. Yeah. But I am really lightweight right now. Yeah, I think when, I when, we are we are far this? from the strip club. Oh, this club. is like me, <laughs> uh, not you, Matt. Other Matt. Oh, other Matt. Okay, yeah, other Matt. That's definitely <coughs> two, maybe three <laughs> sessions worth of beer for eleven dollars. <laughs> you get your money's yeah. worth out of that. So, uh, who wants to bring the beer of the week next time? That's one of you two guys. I'll do it. I mean, unless right, or if you want to, uh, oh, Matt. I will, I'll, I'll inspire me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Right, so he's in so a shop at the same. Do you like I sweet am. things, so, so or do you? No, 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 no. Anything goes. Yeah, yeah. anything All right. goes. All right, so this break. is my choice because I like this one a lot. Beer of the week. Can, All right. So can break. it be just scotch? No. <laughs> that beer well, wait, of okay, the we're week. Gonna, we're going to say that. For the super we're going to say that for the super session. <laughs> oh my god, they went super session. Then when Danny, then when Danny gets out of the army, it's super session too. You know. <laughs> I do like the idea of like possibly re-rolling for like a shot. Like that sounds risky, but yeah. like intriguing at the same time. But, but it impairs you as a player. It <laughs> right. makes you work. Yeah, right. so like you're like, fuck it, I charge. Uh, you yeah. might try to chuck a dagger at somebody who has you frightened too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> who cares? Um, all right. So uh, thanks everybody. And we'll see you next week. Uh, signing off for the Knights of the Last Call. I'm Derek. On behalf of uh, Danny, Matt, Rory, and Bob, we will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Peace.